chain from Sirius Metal Works. Here's the, here's the wires that you have. You have your four motor wires. Each one of them has a, a letter marked on them, and it matches to what's on the box. So you put a, X to X, Y to Y, Z to Z, and A to A. Make sure they're good and snug. And then you have your other wires. You remove the cover off the top of the box. There's a hole right here under, it says motor number five. That's the hole we use for our wires. So you slide these motor connectors or the limit wires through that hole very carefully without tearing any of the wires up. Okay, you pull your wires in very carefully. Then this board right here in the center, that is your table I.O. card. Okay, the wires. Okay, there's the first one in that plug. Okay, okay. there's the first one. Yellow wire to that plug, okay. Then the next 12 wide. Plugs into that. Make sure they're good and snug. They snap down in properly. And then your five wide plug goes here. Goes here. Then you take your black wire. Go and goes here. Now when you're done, it's a really good idea to take you a zip tie, pull, pull you a little bit of slack here, and zip tie it to that cover right there. This will call, this will be a strain relief. That way if the wires ever get tugged on, it won't rip them from their roots. Normally we'll snap that off, but we won't this time. You put your cover back onto your Blade Runner. And then on the other side, you have three ports. You have a, one for the DTHC, which is yellow, one for the PC, which is green, and one for the full port hub, which is blue. We have matching cables. Do the green one first. So the green one plugs into the port to PC, and then the other side goes to your mini PC and into the port that reads Blade Runner. Then we take our blue cable, plug it into the blue port on the Blade Runner, and it goes to, to the four port hub under port two. The last cable goes into the yellow port, and as you see, the yellow cable goes to the plasma cutter to the PWM. And then on the other side of the PWM is our MIT-01 cable, which plugs in there, which goes to the back of the hypotherm. It can only go one way, so careful when you put it in. Don't bend the pins. Now you've successfully hooked up your new Sirius CNC table.